Hey everybody, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending where you are. I'm Travel Man Dan, and get ready for an exciting episode. Have you ever wondered what the pollution looks like in China? Oh man, because if you have, today is going to be an awesome episode. I'm here in Beijing, China, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on a really bad pollution day. So sit back, get ready for an awesome episode, and enjoy the show. All right, so upon waking, you really don't know what it looks like uh, because the, the blinds are closed. And then you wake up and you, you go ahead and open up the blinds. And I want to point this out. Not all days are like this. Um, well, we got uh, E-Money's toys back here. You heard of Ryan's toys. Check out Emily's toys. She's got all these little stuffed animals. But anyway... This is what I'm going to show you. If you look outside, I'm on the 19th floor here in the Shuangjing district of Beijing. And I'm going to give you a better look. You can see all the smoky, kind of crazy fog looking. Looks like San Francisco Bay. Um, I'll go back and, and kind of give you an overlook. All this. This is all pollution. Now, if you've never heard of the AQI... AQI stands for Air Quality Index, and it's basically a measurement of how they, um, they measure the chemicals and the pollution of the air. So the AQI in pretty much, I would say, clean cities, I, I don't mean that they're filthy cities, if we're talking pollution here, but clean cities average around 10 to 15 um, on the AQI. Today in Beijing, we're up close to 400. So if that gives you any indication of how bad it is today, I mean, you wake up and you feel this like shortness of breath, like you can't breathe and you don't know what it is. And all of a sudden you open the, the blinds and the windows and um, you're engulfed in this crazy foam and fog. I mean, you, you can't help but think for these people, the detriment of their health over years of time isn't going to be very good because, man, look at this stuff. I'm actually going to go outside. It's not advised. People don't exercise outside. Um, typically, a lot of people that are hip to the game of the pollution, they don't even go outside. But today, I'm going to go outside and give you a closer look inside this pollution. Let's go have a look. Let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, here we go. Let's go take a look. We're gonna go outside. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. <laughs> no, it's not like that, guys. Um, wow. Whew. You can see a little bit better because um, when I was upstairs, the light was shining through the window and was kind of blocking it out. But it's not like you're going to walk outside and um, look like Arnold when he took his mask off in Total Recall. But um, you do already feel it. And you feel, uh, like I said, that uh, shortness of breath. Um, it's almost like your heart will speed up a little bit. So first thing we have to do is get some safety protection. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to the 7-Eleven and I'm gonna get me those masks that you see everyone wearing all the time because, uh, well, although I don't know how much of a filtration system it offers, it definitely offers some protection of taking a big gulp of this dirty air. So I'm gonna head over to 7-Eleven. Um, that's a nice convenient thing here in China and I'm gonna get me a protection mask. Wow, crazy, you can see it behind me. I mean, the sun, the sun is out. But it isn't really shining through. 
All right, there it is, baby. 7-Eleven. Let's go check it out. Let's go get a mask. And, uh, ni hao. Yeah, no problem. After uh, you. Where, where did you come from? Uh, I'm from America. Right? Oh, America. Yeah, yeah I live in Los Angeles. America, okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, do you speak Chinese? 我会说一点, uh, uh, English language is small. Yeah, you can speak good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. So here we are. Just met a nice woman coming out who speaks English. And let me see. Aha. So, there's a bunch of good ones. This one's, uh, this one looks like it has, there's a bunch of good ones. Do -do. Got a little filtration system on it, but I'm actually looking for a single one that's uh, quite cheap. You just slap it on there real quick. Um, look at all the masks they got. Mask, 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 mask. Make sure you are protected. All right. Okay, I don't see the one I'm looking for. I just want a quick and easy one. I'm not gonna be out there for too long. Um, these ones are more advanced. <laughs> um, I guess if you're gonna use it all the time. Aha, I found it. All right, this is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> Three quai. Um, they do have stronger ones. You know, you see over here, uh, a lot stronger ones, but um, you know, they're like 10 bucks and, and eight bucks. So I'm only gonna use it for this little one. This one will do just fine. Let's go pay for it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Already I can uh, start to feel myself hacking up loogies and coughing. And then the old medical mask. Um, like I said, three quads, so it's about 50 cents. Stretching it, all right. You just put it on over here. And voila. See, now, sorry if the sound is, um, you know, compromised, but I need to wear this because, well, I want to show you how bad it really is uh, as I'm walking around. But I need to wear this, so if the sound is a little compromised, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to yell as loud as I can wearing this mask, but um, it's definitely uh, always safest to have one of these because you don't know how much of these uh, uh, pollutants and molecules that are all dusty and uh, crazy chemicals and things like that. I'm not even sure what the hell makes up this pollution. Um, you want to make sure you have a mask. So let's go hit it. All right. All right, so, wow, looking at the sky behind me. These are all giant skyscrapers, massive buildings that you can no longer see because they are covered in fog and pollution. So, if that gives you any indication of how bad it is out here, wow. Just look at that, That's, these are, this is a massive skyscraper, and you can't see it. Okay, well, I'm standing along a bridge. Down below, there's a river. It's going through one of the main districts, uh, the main business districts in this area. And I'll give you a little look at what we're looking at here. Um, I'm gonna even take my glasses off because I can't really see. You see this river and then all up here is all these like business hotels. Uh, well, huge skyscrapers, apartment complexes, all kinds of activity going in there. You can't really see them that well because how smoky and foggy it is. And if you turn around, same side, uh, same thing on this side, um, you just really can't see them. They're really uh, being covered. 
and overshadowed by this crazy foggy smoke thing. I mean, the sun is out, the sun is shining, but it's creating a really light kind of hue over the city mixed in here with this, uh, this cloud and fog from the pollution. <sighs> I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I, I, I know I've been in climates where you're high up in the mountains and the air climate and the altitude will kind of make you feel sick and wheezy, almost to the point of lightheaded and your, your legs feel weak. But this is the same feeling that I'm having right now by breathing in these chemicals because I'm not used to it. And um, I feel a little bit lightheaded. My legs feel a little bit uh, weak and uh, it's just, uh, you start, you'll start coughing. And man, you just can't help but think, how the heck, how the heck is this going on? How are people, uh, taking this in I don't know 60 days of the year uh, maybe a, more uh, it's not like this all the time but when it rolls in it's uh, it's quite bad and talking to Beijing people and Chinese people in general you know it's not like they wanted this shit you know this is a this is a real detrimental problem to them as well and they don't enjoy it they don't um, they don't say yeah we want a, a nice foggy day they're doing the best they can as a matter of fact I think China has the most solar energy of any country it's just that um, all the factories on the outskirts of town all the um, the chemical companies um, the manufacturing factories they're all making everything on the outside of Beijing and then the strong winds will bring it in here and then it just sits here and blankets this city and pollution and um, a bad air quality. So if you come out here, make sure that you have one of these masks. If you're gonna be here for a long time, you can download the app, the Air Quality Index app and see what the number is. That way you can always be aware of um, where you should stay inside or you should uh, definitely go outside and wear your mask. Uh, man, such a great city, and it's um, it's a shame that they gotta, they gotta go through this. I'll give you one last look, and uh, to be honest with you, I gotta start heading back in. It's um, it's kind of getting to my throat. I can feel the throat scratching, itching. It's just not a good feeling. I'm getting a little bit of a headache. So I'm gonna wrap things up here. If you like what I'm doing out here, and you haven't already, go ahead hit that sub button right there. Uh, ring the bell leave me a comment give me a like let me know where you want to see me go next hopefully the air will be a little bit better i'm travel man dan remember it's a big world out there make sure you see every bit of it